This week's Break It Down Friday, I'm going to break down stage number nine of USPSA Race Gun Nationals. Let's get at it. All right, guys, so this week I decided to break down a stage from Nationals. If you haven't had a chance to check out the Tom Castro Shooting Academy Insider Circle, you guys are really missing out. I do a video like this every single week, every Friday. I do something where I either break down a stage, I break down a stage run, or I do drills. So if you guys haven't had a chance to check it out, hit me up on Tom Castro Shooting Academy on Facebook. I'm on Tom Castro Shooting Academy on the Instagram as well. All right, guys, let's get into the video. All right, guys, let's go ahead and do a full stage breakdown. I was able to video uh, the stage before we started the match. Uh, luckily, I was able to do this uh, before we got started, so I was able to get you guys a stage breakdown. Um, and get a full view of the stage. So let's start from right to left, and I'll walk you through the stage on the actual plan on how I ran it. So uh, from the far right is target number one. That's what I had to draw on. It was the farthest target to the right. It was the probably the only real option that I saw anybody really took. I didn't see anybody start to the left um, just because it was a waste of time. So I started on the right target. Now here's why I broke this stage down, because there's a couple of different ways that I saw people shoot this. Um, and there was two specific parts of this stage that I felt was really important to uh, point out. And this is why I felt like this was a great uh, stage to learn from. So the first thing is, is you, you have two different options here at the beginning. Obviously, you're going to start on the far right target and shoot that. But most people that I saw would transition over to these open targets to the left because it's the first thing that you would see. Now, those targets were probably close to 20 to 20, I don't know, I'd say 18 to 20 yards at the most. Now, I believe the video has a good view of the two targets on the inside here. So I'll try to get through and, and see if we can sh show you that angle. But it is a very tight angle. So you could get past this opening here. I mean, that opening is only three feet wide. So you could pass these two inside targets here that are on the inside very, very quickly. So what ends up happening if you transition to the far left instead of staying to the far right and just taking that few extra seconds to aim through the wall, now you're trying to transition back quickly before the inside uh, no-shoot target right here disappears. So the most important thing is, is, again, you're saving a transition by staying to the right. So by starting on the right target, then entering in on the port opening here or the wall opening here on the right hand side and taking the two inside targets that saved me a transition so instead of transitioning to my left 180 degrees then transitioning back 180 degrees to the targets to my right i was able to save a transition let's go a little further into the video here and i'll show you so obviously i start on the fault line here I'm going to shoot that first target. Now here's the transition where you can see it. those came up within one or two steps. You needed to take those shots. So, and I believe you can see in the video how it kind of disappears quickly. See how, I mean, there's not much time there and I was just walking, wasn't even shooting. So now the inside target, which I would consider this the inside or the outside target here is what disappears right away. So then this target would be your secondary target. And then you would have to transfer or transition into the far left to get the double here. So you'll see, now I'm standing still. I haven't taken any steps forward. So if I was going to shoot this array, the way I did it was I shot the inside, then the outside. So I had more time to shoot this guy. It took, and I had this target for much longer as I moved forward. So you'll see it here. So as I start to step forward, it disappears. It's hard to show you on the video. Sorry, guys. But... Uh, it disappeared sooner and then the left target was open so it gave me a little more time to aim at that now I had a lot of questions about this when I walked the stages with a few people the reason I decided to shoot the steel first and not only did I shoot the steel first but this last piece of steel is an activator for both swingers so if you shot that piece of steel in the back right it activated so one of the things that I noticed during the walkthrough especially during our main walkthrough when the RO gave us the opportunity 
to see the swingers was that the far right swinger by by far was actually fastest swinger that there was. So this target was going to be activated first. The swinger on the right was going to be the one that you saw first. And the second swinger was slower. So it actually had slower action. It didn't whip back and forth as much as the far right one did. So it was inside. So the way I shot it is I came in and I shot steel, small steel, big steel, small steel, activator steel. And then I took the no shoot in the center and the reason I did that is because there was still a lull from shooting the last activator, the last piece of steel, still took time for that last, for those swingers to activate it. So what I wanted to do was not rush that no shoot. So I knew I couldn't go anywhere because I had to wait on swingers regardless. So I decided to take that center swinger or the center piece of uh, paper first so that I didn't rush and try to sweep into it from the no shoot. So you'll see here as I go through, as we go through the rest of the video, let's run it again. Pretty good draw there. Now I keep my gun. One mistake I made here, I'll rewind it just a little bit, is I actually took my hand off the gun when I moved. There was no reason at all for me to take my hand off the gun. I should have kept my hands on the gun. And you see, I dropped my left hand to make that move. I should have kept my hand on the gun. And, and I could have started aiming right here. This is where I should have started aiming. I would have been able to react and shoot that target a little bit sooner, or at least aimed and been a lot more accurate. I actually had pretty good hits on those. I think I ended up with an alpha Charlie and two alpha, but I could have had two alpha if I would have just kept my hand on the gun. So let's go through. So I kind of a little, a little delay step there so that I don't have any mics on that inside target. These targets right here, guys, are where you get the mics. This is where it's very, very easy to get mics or deltas or or two charlies or charlie deltas because you're you're going so fast and you don't respect those targets those targets need the same amount of respect that the swinger needs you just don't have to do it as slow right you just have to do those things quickly but you still have to respect and and call those hits and not take those mics so as i come through now again taking this target first so you can tell, as you guys can see, the no shoot is missing on this target. The reason the no shoot's missing is because I videoed that stage during carry optics match. This is open. This is the open match. So I, I didn't have the video for the walkthrough on this. So we're missing the no shoot on here for a reason. It's because it was for the open nationals and not the carry optics nationals. So as I go through, I take the inside outside. Now I start on the inside steel. Again, I start on the inside steel so I can take that. Now watch the timing on the back center and how it works. I had plenty of time to shoot two alpha on this target and not rush the no shoot. And then you'll see where the activation comes is the far right swinger is first. So see, you can see it right here. See how the swinger is activated right here on the right hand side. It's the first thing that comes up. So let's go through a little bit sooner, faster. Fast forward here a little bit. So I jump on top of that note on the swinger on the right, right away. As I come through, now, as you can see, as it hit its bottom, that was my second shot. And now I'm already starting to find the far left swinger. Now the far left swinger is just now hitting the bottom. The far right swinger is already on the way back up. So you can tell by me taking that right swinger first, it gave me a chance to get on a target that wasn't swinging. By the time I got there, that thing was standing still. Then I had to follow it to get it to its second shot. So one, two, and I was able to finish that, that swinger. So again, I ended up with a mic on the far right swinger because I called a hit and it actually was a bent paster. So that kind of screwed me up a little bit. I saw a little reflection or a little bend in it. And uh, that's what gave me, a, I got a mic. I mean, I shot a mic, but I, I called a, a hit and it was a reflection off of a, a paster that was bent and it was a little crinkled. So it actually looked like a, like a hit. So, uh, you know, that's how it goes in shooting. But I took the chance to go for it because you have to go for it in these major matches. You cannot give away points to the top guys. That's just how it works. When you're a top shooter and you want to be a top shooter, you got to go for it. You can't be concerned about the mics or the scores or, or any of that. So uh, I just looked up the score. Actually, I would have been, I'm 35th, I believe on this stage. I'm 34th on this stage. And 
if I give myself a, even a Charlie or a Delta, it takes me into the top 10 on this stage. So that's how important hits are. But even more importantly is I gave myself a chance to be one of the top shooters on this stage. If I don't be aggressive and I wait and I take three shots at each swinger and I let it go uh, two or three passes, you don't even give yourself the opportunity to be one of the top scorers on that stage. So, all right, guys, that's Break It Down Friday for the week. And I hope you enjoy. We'll see you on the range.